How to make weekly line chart with graphic design in Excel. Example of creating a weekly line chart in Excel with graphic design and interactive features. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to create an interactive line chart in Excel. This example demonstrates the application of a rubber plastic effect on an Excel line chart for data visualization and presentation. We start by preparing the data and constructing a table with initial values for the weekly chart. To create a unique graphic design in Excel, we need two additional values at the beginning and end of the weekly chart. Therefore, the row numbering consists of nine numbers in the first column of the table instead of seven. The second column contains row header start, abbreviated names of the days of the week, end. Next we have three columns with initial values. The largest values are in rang 1. The values in the chart will be built in ascending order. Hence the first column is named rang 3. We fill the table with random initial values for the example. In the first column we have the smallest random values, in the second column the average values, and in the third column, rang 1, the largest random values. We use the rand between function with different parameters in the arguments for different columns according to the rank. The rows with the headers start and end are temporarily filled with simple formulas to obtain approximately similar nearest values. The next three columns are the selected values for creating three cursors on three interactive line charts. Later, the values in these columns will contain logical formulas. For now, we fill them with an NA function and in the row where the day of the week is Wednesday. We provide links to the rank values on Wednesday. We select the range B1H10 and create an area chart. Insert charts 2D area. As seen in the chart legend, we have six data series. We need three more series. We use the select data tool and add three more data series named line 3, 2, 1, with links to the columns rang 3, 2, 1 respectively. Now we have nine data series. For the three line series, we change the chart type to 2D line.
Similarly, for the three cursor series, we change the chart type to scatter. Additional vertical and horizontal axes were added by default. We need to remove them. We use the chart type change tool. In the window that appears, select the last option at the bottom on the left menu called combo. In the far right column secondary axis uncheck all the boxes for all data series and click OK to confirm. As a result we disabled all additional axes. Now we need to remove unnecessary markers at the zero mark on the Y axis from all scatter charts we use the Select Data tool. In the window that appears, click the Hidden and Empty Cells button in the lower left corner. In the additional window, uncheck the Show NA as an Empty Cell option. As a result, the combined chart shows markers only for cursors with values, which are three markers in the Wednesday day of the week range, according to the data in the original table. If the data is changed, the chart will dynamically update the visualization. But we will look at this later during the creation of interactive functions. As seen in the legend, we have nine data series presented in three chart types line, area and scatter. On a separate sheet, we create the basis for the graphic design of the weekly line chart. We create a panel with a gradient fill background and border using a rounded rectangle shape. We move the combined weekly chart to the new sheet and overlay it on the panel shape.
We optimize the position and size. It's important to ensure that the width and bottom of the chart slightly extend beyond the borders of the rounded rectangle. We create a graphic design for the chart with a rubber plastic effect. But first, we set the order of the layers of the Rang data series areas. For each chart area, we apply a gradient fill with semi-transparent colors. It's important that the colors are different. Next we choose the line charts and set the line parameters color, thickness, and enable the smooth line option. Attention. Now we encounter a small problem. In Excel the area chart does not have a smoothing option. To hide the flaws gaps between the smoothed curve and the area chart, we partially eliminate them by adjusting the line thickness and significantly by applying a shadow. Thanks to the dark background and the shadow falling from the smoothed curve, the unwanted gaps between different chart types are effectively hidden. To enhance the shadow effect, reduce the transparency to 35% in the parameter settings.
we perform similar actions and settings for the remaining curves. In graphic design, the mask effect is often used. We create a mask shape in PowerPoint, as the shape editor there has advanced capabilities. First, we copy the panel shape from the rounded rectangle created earlier in Excel to PowerPoint. Then, in PowerPoint we overlay another rectangle shape with slightly larger dimensions in the center. We select both shapes and use the Merge Shapes Combine tool in the editor. We get a new shape with a hole as a result of the merge. We copy the mask shape back to Excel and overlay it on the chart. aligning it so that the hole is exactly over the rounded rectangle. As a result, the parts of the chart that extended beyond the borders are hidden. Based on the data table, we create a pivot table in Excel. In the table designer we set up the fields. In the rows we have abbreviated names of the days of the week, and in the values field, the rank columns. We copy the pivot table and create slicer buttons based on it. We will use them as controls for the weekly line chart with graphic design. There should be three slicers the first month and the second week should be connected only to the second pivot table. The third slicer day should be connected to control only the first pivot table. We design the appearance of the buttons and slicer panels in the templates by duplicating and modifying the already prepared options.
Using the getPivotData function, we connect the data from the pivot table to the original table in the rang columns range. In the cursor columns range, we use a logical formula that checks which days of the week are used for data selection on such days, the cursor will be shown on the chart. If the day is not selected, the logical formula returns the NA function. We move the slicer buttons to the chart. We choose their position, set the sizes and configure the parameters.
Then we test the interactive functions of the weekly chart with graphic design. We add formulas for data labels on the chart. Summarizing values for the selected days of the week for three indicators. The total sum of the selection for the specified period. We create text box objects to add labels to the visualization. In each text box we use the formula bar to reference the cell with the source of the corresponding data. This is another example of how to enhance a dashboard with graphic design visualization. Excel provides us with quite extensive design possibilities. Note that everything we do is without using macros. All interactivity is implemented with standard tools formulas, functions, pivot tables, slicers, chart templates, shapes and more.